let's talk about the else decision making statement the first thing you need to understand is the else statement cannot exist without the if statement a good way to understand the working of a else statement is through a simple example let's say we have a problem and the problem says is if the number input is 0 or not 0 we need to check whether the input number is 0 or not 0 so what I can do is if I use only if it will tell me whether the number is 0 but suppose I also want to print the message if the number is non 0 so what I will do is I will first ask the user enter an number or enter an integer I will then read the number then based on the number entered by the user I will ask the question if number is equal to 0 then I am going to print input number is 0 suppose I had entered a number 6 then this result of this boolean expression would have been false then I will go to the else part in the else part I am going to say input number is non 0 so in order to understand it let's compare it with by writing a C program so let's say I end up writing a C program the C programs job is to check if an input number is a 0 or non 0 first I need to declare any variable so that I can read a number into this particular variable enter an integer here I am saying enter an integer read a number I am using scanf to read the number then I'm instead of English I'm using the C syntax I'm saying if number is equal to 0 then I'm going to print input number is 0 if the number did not happen to be 0 then I'm going to say print number input is non 0 so in the if else again after the else there is no semicolon if this part is true it will not execute the else part you need to understand a couple of things else can only occur or exist along with a if statements so if the if happens to be false then only the else part is going to get executed now if you need to take a look at the syntax of the if else this is how the if else will look so for the if else if the boolean expression happens to be true then zero or more statements related to this if condition will be executed if the else happens to be true in the sense if the if is false then it will execute zero or more of these b statements what are some of the good practices some of the good practices see that the if and else align with each other if there are more if else statements so you can easily relate to which expression is being associated with which statement now if even if there is a single statement you don't need to include the flower bracket okay the flower bracket is this one but it is a good practice to include flower bracket so you know which statements are associated with if and are executed as a result of if being true so always include the flower braces even if there is a single statement so that there is no confusion as to which group of statements the if or else is executing or is associated with.